on with the video. This camera has an auto setting, so it auto focuses, auto color corrects, all that wonderful stuff. The problem is, when you're trying to green screening, I got it sitting there pointing at the green screen, and it kind of auto corrects for the green. So when I step into the picture, I'm green, which screws up the auto correct. And then halfway through whatever I'm talking about, it changes, it auto corrects again to give me my natural color and then the green screen color changes so what happens is you know when you're doing green screen you're basically saying replace this color <laughs> excuse me this color replace it with a video well if that color changes your video it doesn't replace that color anymore so I gotta figure out I guess how to make this camera do manual mode now that sounds easy enough I can get it in a manual mode I don't know how to focus this thing in manual mode. There's no focus button. There's zoom, but there's no way to focus. So I don't, I've got to, I got to figure that out. So I'm working on it. I, you know, hey, it's all a learning process. And no one ever said, you know, I don't think most uh, film people when they first decided to start doing this just sat down and went, oh, it's easy. Bang, turned it on and was working. So um, I'm gonna mess with some graphics next, you know, because I want to do that. So. I want to get a logo and some some sort of an intro thing, thing in my bobber. Um, so I may mess with that a little bit too. But anyway, so I'm working on it. Um, everybody's fine. We had a great Mother's Day. Uh, I, well, I believe Mom loved it. We went to an arts festival, which was great. It just as we were walking around there, and I was looking at everybody's overpriced art. I thought to myself, find the oldest guy. We'll buy his stuff because when he dies, it'll be worth more. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, anyways, we didn't buy anything because it was hot for one thing, so it kind of was a little bit miserable out there, but it's just not, you know, we're not art people. I don't know why we wanted to go to this art, or she wanted to go to the art festival, but there was some creative stuff, but most of it I didn't like. <laughs> it was just like, blah, boring. But anywho, we, uh, survived it then we went to dinner and I, I bought her uh we got a couple cards my daughter and i got her cards and the cats we got her some car got her a card and then we uh oh i got her some chocolate covered strawberries which are my wife's fave so that was it that was mother's day and oh the day before i went to a car show which is what i was wanting to do with the green screen you know have the car because you know, I film a car for two seconds, it's not that exciting, and I don't talk in detail about the cars, I'm just filming. So it's like, well, I don't want to say, the car show footage may not be the best for everyone, so man, not everybody may not like old cars. Um, so me just explaining what we were doing over top of it and the green screen effect would have been cool, except that the green screen wasn't working correctly at all. Not even close. Didn't even. It was it was scary what it ended up looking like. <laughs> so that being said, this is it for today. A little bit of a uh, a vlog on my way to work, which is rare too because I don't usually flap my gums in the morning. Because usually in the morning I'm praying I make it through the day. Oh, I hate that. Something flew up from underneath the car in front of me and just tagged my grill. There's nothing you can do. I was driving one time, going down a highway out here on 183, and the median, the center median, is just there's a brick wall. There's no, there's maybe a foot between the line and the wall, so there's nowhere to go there. And it's the same on the other side, coming the opposite direction, and you, know, you got a brick wall there. And we're driving, the brick wall, and we're driving along, I'm doing 70, 75, I'm just cruising home from work, along with everybody else, and out of nowhere, white wicker chair, whew, came from the other side of the highway, popped out in front of me. There was nowhere for me to go, I mean, there's a car beside me, you know, there's nowhere for me to go. So, <laughs> I hit the brakes, but I mean, when you're doing 70 and something pops out 10 feet in front of you, you're going to hit it. It's just, a, it's just the way it is. So I swerved as much as I could to get towards the wall because he came towards the like outside of my lane. And I caught him, clipped him on the right front bumper, just kind of clipped the chair. And 
put a big old white scrape mark on my bumper, which was no big deal, it was paint, but it pushed the chair into the lane next to me, and the poor limo driver that was over there, he didn't see it coming at all, and he just plowed straight into it, and it was just white wicker chair all over the highway, <laughs> it got bluey, exploded, and uh, just white wicker chair everywhere, and it was crazy, I was like, whoa! And then he pulled, you know, we're driving, and he got caught up beside me, and I'm, <laughs> dude, and he, he was like, I don't know. It just came from the other side of the highway. I mean, what, what can you do? So anyway, lesson for you. If I was on the phone, I would have died. No, I probably wouldn't have died. But you do have to pay attention when you're driving. So why am I talking to you people? All right, I'm out of here.